In this video, we will see how to navigate between screens in Jetpack Compose with type safety because I already have a navigation video for Jetpack Compose in my channel, but that was before type safe navigation came out. Now we will be using type safe navigation, which is a lot easier than the previous navigation way. And I will show you everything you need from passing arguments, creating screens, popping screens from the back stack, and also changing the navigation animation or transaction. So let's get started. Here I am in this Android Studio project and first we need some libraries and they are the Android Navigation Compose one and Kotlin X Realization JSON. These two are necessary since a screen for navigation is in the end either a data class or a data object that needs to be serialized somehow for easy navigation and here are the versions from them. Of course we can probably update this one if we want and just paste these two. Sync your project and then let's go to our build.gradle which is the project level one this first one and then as you can see at this plugin actually we also need this plugin in our lips.versions so right here we need to add the JetBrains Kotlin serialization plugin which is this one and the version is Kotlin which is actually this one okay and then you need to add this plugin right here in our build.gradle the project level one and then we want to go to our build.gradle which is the app module level one we want to add those two libraries now, which are these as dependencies, the Compose Navigation and Serialization JSON. And then we want to go up here and apply the plugin, which is the Kotlin Serialization one. That's it. Sync your project and you're good to go. Now, let's go to our code and we'll see that I already prepared some screens which are just composables. And the first screen is like this called screen one. That takes a Lambda function which is on go to next screen and it just has a common with a text that says we are in the first screen a little bit of a space between the button and the text and then we have a button when we click on this button on the on click we go to the next screen so we call this lambda function and then just says go to screen to the text in the button that's it in the second screen now this screen needs an argument so this screen needs to receive something in this case it's an id so let's say we have a list of items when we click on an item we want to go to the details screen and also we want to pass the id of the item that we clicked on so that's the id so again it just says this is screen 2 it displays the id and another button to go to the next screen which is the third screen and in the third screen it is it doesn't take anything in the third screen we just go back as you can see when we click on this button we go back to the previous screen with a button and it says this is screen 3 that's it this one doesn't take anything and the second screen does take an argument now let's just say this argument this id has the default value of 10 or 20 because we'll see how to pass arguments later the first thing we need is we want to create an interface called screen which will hold all our screens but that is going to be a sealed interface like this. And a screen in the end is either a data object or a data class. So that's going to be data object for the first one, screen one. That inherits screen. As you can see, for screen two, it's going to be the same. For screen three, it's going to be the same. Now, later I will show you how to pass arguments to this screen. So I will change this a little bit later. But first of all, let's go to our main activity and then let's try building our navigation. As you can see, I just called the navigation screen, but I don't have any I mean, function, but I don't have anything in it. So to navigate, first of all, we need a nav controller. That's going to be vol nav controller like this. That is going to be remember nav controller like this this is what we use to navigate to pass arguments or do whatever we want and then we want to create now a nav host like this this one will host our screens and it needs a modifier which is the modifier that we passed like this the reason why is that we have a scaffold in here and sometimes we might have some space taken by a top bar or a bottom bar so that space is taken in the screen so we need to push our content by the padding or the space that that component takes that's why we need this inner padding that we pass with a modifier to this navigation and we apply that to this nav host so if the top of the screen is taken by a top bar, we push the navigation by that same space so that it doesn't be below that top bar, okay? 
and then we need to pass our nav controller that is going to be nav controller i will also show you how to change the transactions or the animation when we navigate between screens the next thing we want is a start destination so where do we want our navigation to start from in our case it's going to be screen dot screen one so remember screen one is the data object that we created in this interface so that's the start destination now we want a composable like this and the first screen we want is screen one right here we will have our screen now we can just simply duplicate this and the second one is going to be of course for screen two and for screen three we can now put our screen content inside here for the first one it's going to be screen one and it takes on go to next screen which is a lambda function we can copy this and simply paste it for the other ones here we have screen two and here we have screen three but in this screen three we have on go back so we want to go back to the previous screen because if we check that out we have a button that just takes back to the previous screen because we don't have any more screen as the next screen okay to navigate now we want to use our nav controller that we created right here dot navigate to screen dot screen two and that's it we can already navigate from screen two we want to navigate to screen three but right here we don't have a screen to navigate to so what we're going to write is nav controller dot pop back stack. So we want to pop this screen from the back stack and our navigation is already set up we can now run the app here it is but the app seemed to crash let's just see why and the reason why it crashes is that let's go to our screens right here we need to make these screens serializable that's what i forgot so we want to annotate it with add Kotlin x dot serialization dot serializable that's something we need because we need to serialize these screens so that we can navigate between them that's how the new type safe navigation works and the type safety here comes as you can see we tell it where to navigate with type safety so we don't use those routes anymore which are just strings and simply if we just make a spelling mistake we won't be able to navigate so we just need to serialize our screens like this or to make them serializable and we can now run the app and it should work we are in screen one we want to go to screen two and we did come to screen two and the id is only the default value that we gave it which is 20 because we didn't pass any id yet and then we want to go to screen three and here we are in screen three if we go back then we'll go back to screen two or if we just click on the back button we will go back as well so like this another thing i want to show you is that let's say I want to skip a screen if i want to go back so let's say now i am in screen two and i want to go to screen three but when i go back i don't want to show screen two anymore i can just pop it from the back stack if i want to do that so before navigating right here i want to do nav controller dot pop back stack and this now will remove my screen two from the back stack and then navigate to the screen tree which means when i go back i will directly go back to the first screen so let's see that here I am now in screen two, and when I click on the button, I will remove the screen two, and then I will go to screen three, just like this. And now when I go back, I will directly come to screen one, which means screen two was removed from the back stack. So that's how you remove screens from the back stack. And just before continuing, I just want to announce that a 25% discount is back to my premium course in which you will build a large scale app using Jetpack Compose just like this, navigating between screens and all the complex Compose components, along with clean architecture, MVI design pattern, and even building a backend which is a ktor backend if you want to get your discount you can find the link in the description now what i want to show you is to pass arguments to screens to do that we want to go to screen tool which is a data object and if you want this to take an argument we just want to make a data class which will take now a var id of type string string like this and we can simply pass any primary data type like string integer double float boolean and so on we can also pass complex objects which are custom data classes but i wouldn't recommend doing that because we need a little bit more work and it might just come with problems so just try passing ids or things like so you'll be good so we want to go right here and here we have screen two but we don't only want to navigate to screen two we want to pass an argument in this case let's say eight the id is going to be eight but i have a problem because the id needs to be an int like this not a string and then how do i get the id right here to get it we need a back stack entry like this and then we want to create an instance of our screen two so var 
screen two is going to be of type screen two like this and it's going to be my backstack entry dot two route and simply i have an instance of my screen two and if i want to pass my id i want to go here saying that the id is my screen two dot id just like this and if you have more arguments so id and then name of type string actually let's say val that's what it's supposed to be i can just say right here screen two dot name to get the name but in this case we don't really need that i want the id and here i will pass the id that won't be 20 anymore so i can probably even delete that it will now be eight now let's run our app and see if we do get the id or not so i'm in screen one navigate to screen two but i need to pass the id eight like this and yes i did get the id and i can never pass an unsafe argument something like a string i will just get an error this wasn't possible before because we didn't have type safety but now our navigation is completely type safe so we want to pass eight that's it our navigation already works but one thing i want to show you is that when navigating we just have this fade in and out uh, transactions which honestly don't look that good and to change them we want to go here and we want to change now our transactions and it's going to be enter transaction slide in horizontally like this and that takes it so this now will be sliding in from the right and then i want exit transaction that is going to be slide out horizontally and then minus it which means sliding out to the left and then pop enter transaction this one is going to be slide out horizontally minus it so the offset is going to be the opposite of it so minus it this is going to be now slide in from left and the last one is going to be pop exit actually this one okay so i, I flipped them so this one is going to be pop exit like this and it's going to be slide out horizontally it this is to slide out from the right but this one is going to be in because that's a mistake i made and that's it now we can have a different transaction when we navigate between our screens let's try that out so like this as you can see we have the sliding when we go back between screens and it looks just great and we did navigate between screens with passing arguments and with different transactions animations so great we just built an app in which we can navigate between screens if you like this tutorial then support me by subscribing and leaving a like to this video also if you want to build a large scale app and take your skills to the next level in the underwood industry then check out the premium course that will make you exactly do that in the description see you in the next video bye